Well, here I am in Villeplatte, or as they like to say it locally, Villeplatte. And of course, we're going to be looking at this store here, Abby's Hidden Treasures, flea market. And uh, we've known Abby for a good while, so she should have some very interesting stuff. And of course, they're open too. This is just, you know, the current lockdown. We're on day one, stage one, going to stage two. As we walk in the door, we get a chance to see ourselves. Not the most flattering sight, but nevertheless, these are some of the some of the furniture that she has here. This one looks like it's on hold, so somebody might be buying that. This is certainly nice. She's got some certainly some very nice collectibles there. That's for the tall glass if you're really thirsty here, huh? This is nice with a little crackle paint design. You got a winged child sitting on top of the table. I've been here just 30 seconds, hasn't flown away. It's always a good sign. I saw a rocking chair. This is a cute little table. Folks, um, Bill Platt's just a short distance away from Opelousas and at Becky's Barn. But you know, we're all friends. You even got a Rembrandt. Probably not the original. But if it is, well, somebody would be happy to get that. This is nice. Three tables sitting on top of each other makes the best of her space. The drawers work nice. Of course, prices always change. I don't see the prices on things, but those are prices. Many times, the flea marks are negotiable. I can't say about here. But I do know one thing. It's if you want to buy something, this is the type of place to go. If you want to spend money, you can go to Walmart or any other place to save money. This is nice, very unique. Ouch. Here we have a little pepper. Behind the glass, the little drawers there. Those are pretty neat. A potted plant. Best kind of plants to have. They require little to no water. These are pretty, all behind the glass. There's some of the same people in Ville Platte. I mean, Opelousas. Becky's Barn in Opelousas are here. I thought this was an execution chair, <laughs> but it's up for a whole tree small. This building used to be an Ace Hardware. I used to buy my paints in here and other things. That does not, that looks like it might hit the spot. A three chair baking rack. And a crochet bed, well that looks soft. You know the old story about putting a hat on a bed, don't you? I mean, somebody's gonna be murdered. I just hope it's not me. <laughs> That's a pretty little table over there, chair. When I first came into the store, there was about four or five customers there. I'm not sure if they're still here or not.
older style record player. Plays all the hits. These are all different vendors. So that's always nice to know. It's not one person's a talent finance it alone, but it's a collection of people which makes it special. Cedar closet. This is nice. We're approaching the end and we just want to take a look at this. And I'm not sure where Abby is. She's not around. But nevertheless, this has been a nice visit, and for just these two booths only, we'll come back and see more of it at a later date. She's open six days a week, only Sunday are they closed, so very nice little store. Come on down to Abby's Hidden Treasures. Not hidden anymore. That's for sure.